finally, the third part of WeBrands. It took us a while to get here, but surprisingly I still have something to show you. Today we will witness the grand hunt of Ecophila. Once again we will let them roam on the plant and review the nuances of caring for these ants. And of course we will see how the colony looks now and what has changed for them. Greetings to all innkeepers on my channel. This is the Astra project. Enjoy watching. Weaverans are very intelligent, or at least they give the impression of being so. They remain calm in any situation and seem to know what to do. They can also see me quite well from about half a meter away, and it's truly unusual when ants observe you. Unexpectedly another hunt. The rough beetle wasn't lucky and the predator went to join the other predators. Rough beetles have very strong hiding and biting through it is not easy, but the weaverans don't see it as an obstacle. They also grabbed it and stretched it out. Very bloodthirsty ants, but in their habitat they dominate for a reason. They are incredibly important for the ecosystem as they constantly kill large numbers of pests. And here I got my hands on a water feeder. It's a very convenient tool, especially for ants that need to be watered daily. And it's also easy to pour syrup onto it. It's like two in one. We gave the ants treat and now we're observing. For ants like this, it's important to have water readily available in addition to sweetness. And when we were ants are eating syrup, they don't seem as scary at all. They look very cute and elegant. So far the second test tube doesn't seem to interest them much, they just walk around in it. It is continuous development and that makes me happy. Although I never shake the thought that I might be doing something wrong. Here is some advice for you. If you are not sure what difficult ends to keep, get some weaver ends. It's unclear what needs to be done, but these ends provide incredible emotions. Inside the nest there is constant activity. Ants walk over each other and cling onto anything they can find. The young workers are even more beautiful, with a vibrant yellow color. Ants often help root in their mandibles and just hang downward with it. This reminds me of Diakama ants. Here is how this makeshift setup looks now. Three test tubes and as always the incubator with water is empty. Weaver ants often change nests and as you can see they've already settled into a new test tube. Their resilience to stress is justified by frequent moves. The colony has grown. There are dozens of scouts in the outworld. That means it's time for a new, large hunt on the wooden beetle larva. This larva is a serious adversary that can easily cut an ant in half. But we ants won't be stopped by that. Honestly, this moment made me think. I felt very sorry for the wooden beetle larva and it would have been better if I had just crushed it earlier, but it was too late to change anything. All the foragers nearby gathered for this battle. I never expected so many ants to participate in a hunt like this, but this day was special. About 40 ants are holding the larva, while the rest pour acid on it and bite from all sides. This is what a great hunt looks like. It's not a bunch of ants piling onto a beetle, it's a well-coordinated strategy that always leads to success. The ants do everything together and don't suffer any loses. They spent over an hour on this battle and ended up with plenty of food to accelerate the colony's growth. But as I mentioned earlier, ants like weaver ants have another site, and it's called peace. 
I have no words to describe these frames. The ants just walk around the plant, just like in nature. Let's summarize the care tips for these ants. These ants need to be given water in its pure form. Provide them with the water feeder at the very least. Weaver ants don't like excessively high humidity. Give them an incubator with water and an empty test tube so they can choose for themselves. If you are setting up a terrarium, maintain humidity levels up to 80% and spray the plants. Offer syrup or honey more often, every 3 days should be sufficient. And don't forget about their daily protein feeding. Weaver ants are so vibrant that they are almost translucent. Pay attention to this moment, you can see how the honey moves inside the ant. Look at the petiole, the segment that connects the thorax to the abdomen. And here is how the ants feel now. For some reason they changed their preference to the test tubes with water and now live in them. Well, they know better. The moral of the story is that it's worth providing weaver ants with various conditions so they can choose for themselves. The colony status is, let's say, average. They've been staying in the one place for a month now and haven't been growing. I suspect the issue lies with the conditions and I'll be renovating their home soon. They evolve a temporary nest from the leaves I placed in the outro and even moved there briefly, but the leaves dried out and the ants returned to the test tubes. The colony isn't shrinking, so that's a relief. It turns out the weaver ants have been with me for 4 months now. Well, yes, there could have been more of them during this time, but anyway, they are alive and seemingly raising a new generation. They actively drink syrups and bring joy in my eyes. The queen is alive and continues to lay eggs. Whether to follow my method of care or not is up to you. I've shown my approach and I can guarantee its reliability, but if you are planning to keep this species, here is your guide. We wrens really have a lot of brood. Why they are developing slowly is another question, but the new larvae and pupae are the very eggs from the past that the queen laid during her time with me, so I've almost solidified the success of racing a generation from scratch. I don't really like keeping them in incubators. Yes, everything is visible and you can monitor the colony's condition, but the weaver ants somehow don't look their best in such a system. I think we'll fix it in the next episode about weaver ants. I won't talk about terrariums, you'll see it for yourselves. Overall, the ants are a joy. It's great to have so many options for their care. This is the kind of ant that allows for creative freedom in their maintenance. We'll continue to watch over them, and if you want to see more of the Weaverance, I'm waiting for you on my social medias, there are links in the description. Let's remember the colony's current state for future comparisons. Thanks for watching. This video turned out to be very rich and probably the most beautiful in the history of the channel. We have the Weaverance to thank for that. This isn't my first attempt in keeping Ecophila ants, but it's definitely the most successful one. I hope this video will help other keepers who want to have this species. Weaver ants have been a mystery to all of us for a long time, but we are getting closer to solving it, and it's nice that I could contribute to this. Once again, I have a great social media that you can find in the description, and I'm waiting for all of you there. Also, check out my other videos. Remember, the best reward you can give me is a like, a subscription and a comment. That's all from me. See you in the next story. This is the Astara Project. See ya.